Whenever you need to import product information to Seller Cloud, you'll have a host of options that are designed to simplify the whole process. Let's take a quick look at a few of the most popular options that can help you complete these tasks within minutes. You can import product info using a profile you already created with Seller Cloud's handy mapping tool. First, select Import Product Info from the catalog or use the morphing search. Click on Import Info via Profile and select the profile to use from the menu. We have a Price Import from Website profile already mapped, so we can import product pricing seamlessly from a third-party website right into Seller Cloud. Next, you would upload the product info spreadsheet that you had downloaded from your website. This sheet has the products and prices you want to import into Seller Cloud. The import action will create a queued job that you can easily monitor by clicking the number to check on its status. A completed job means your price information imported successfully, and you're good to go with the new price for the items as shown here. This next option imports shadow products in bulk with just three simple steps. Shadows are used to list products in multiple categories or multiple companies. Click on Import Shadows and download the template file in whichever format you want. Enter the parent and shadow SKUs and then save the file so you can upload and import it. This creates a queued job to process the import. Your imported shadows will appear right on the Shadows Toolbox tab. Note that you can use this same foolproof method to remove shadow products in bulk. Another straightforward option is the import of variations. Variations are products with common properties, but with different dimensions and separate SKUs. Click on Import Variations and download the template file with predefined headers. Enter the parent and child SKUs and their different dimension values. Remember to save this file to your computer with a unique name. The option to add to existing matrix will add your child SKUs to a variation parent. The Overwrite option replaces the child SKUs with the ones in your file. We'll add the child SKUs to an existing parent. Go ahead and import your Variations file back into Seller Cloud. And check out the Variations right here on the Variations tool tab. It's equally easy to import kits into Seller Cloud. A kit is comprised of other products in your Seller Cloud catalog. Kits can also be brought into Seller Cloud with a file upload. Click on Import Kits and download the file with the kit column headers. Note that your downloaded template file will show the required columns. Enter your data into the columns with each kit component on its own separate row. Note that all components means that a kit is available for sale only if all of its components are available. The child SKU's cost and price columns are optional here. Be sure to save the file when you're done so you can upload it later. The next step is to choose the right import option. You can either create the parent SKUs that are in your import file or create the child SKUs. Let's create the child SKUs. When a kit import starts, Seller Cloud automatically calculates inventory of the kit components. You can manually set this to happen during the kit import or after it's done. All you do now is just upload the kit file and import it. The results will appear on the kit tool tab when the job is completed. The kit's component count will match up with the imported components, and the total components price will be calculated automatically. Note that whenever you update the component's quantity available, the kit inventory quantity will be recalculated for you. You can also import product images in no time at all using an image template. Simply download the template and enter your data. 
grab the image URLs from your source host and paste them into the file name column provided. Be sure that the path is accessible for public view. Use the other columns to set the image placement, like whether the image is the product default or part of the main description. When you're done with the file, you're ready to upload and import it. You'll see your imported image right on the product's home tab as soon as the job is complete. Check out all of a product's images right here on the Image Manager tab. You can even bulk update Walmart attributes to ready products for Walmart Marketplace. The product attributes Walmart requires depend on their Marketplace category. Download the template and enter your data. This includes the product IDs, Walmart categories, and attribute information. Upload your completed file and import it. The imported attributes appear just like that on the Walmart Marketplace tool tab. You can bulk import attributes for other channels in much the same manner as the sample Walmart update that was shown here. There's even an option to export product catalog information right on the Manage Catalog page. The downloaded file makes it super easy for you to update the information and then import the new info in record time.